let's just uh, talk about a few things. I'm going to race through this before my phone runs out because it usually dies. For the Rally for Recall on May 9th at Queen's Park from 12 o'clock to 3 o'clock, run by the Libertarian Party. Uh, there's going on about um, the Kathleen Wynne government. So raise any issues you have with them, whether it's uh, raising fuel costs for your house, your car, and all the other things in that. I'm not going to go into that because I'm a gun fanatic. I'm not a financial expert, but you go into it. Uh, but anyway, I got down. Recall what laws have been imposed upon us over the years by any of the parties that have been in power. So when you make up your protest signs, raise some of these issues that I'm speaking of. Um, think about these things and put them on a sign or whatever. Uh, my personal concept of what a libertarian is, is that we Canadians should be who we are, enjoy what we want, and be tolerant of the individuals of others. And you know, you may not like somebody, you may think whatever they're into is pretty uh, kinky or wrong or whatever. As long as they're not touching kids and they're not hurting people, they're not hurting our environment, they're not doing damage to anyone or anything, then that's things we have to consider because our government goes a little overboard. Uh, recall the so-called assault rifle ban. We want those guns uh, legal again. Think of the number of bull pups that are available, such as my T-97 there. Um, the uh, Israeli Tavor. Um, there's some great guns. Um, the Caltech. They have a couple of bull pups out there and shotguns and three-way caliber. Uh, the KSGs. And uh, anyway, uh, we want this, things like the Styrog legal again. Um, AR-15s should be non-restricted. If we can take out other 223s, let us take out those ones. Make them all legal. It's, it's the individual that holds the firearm. It's not the type of firearm. We have to remember that. It's not the gun. It's the person. Uh, recall the long gun registry. Remember, this is the uh, rally for recall. So recall the long gun registry. Put these on your signs. It's huge costs and almost useless result in stopping pe bad people from doing what they do. And now some of the First Nations Council have said they want to have their own gun registry. That is wrong. That is really wrong. Think of the cost. The First Nations already have enough problems draining their pocketbook. The things they have to get straightened out to help their uh, people. You don't need that kind of debt. Uh, recall, the, recall the short barrel handgun ban. I went to jail over that. Had my family terrorized by... Uh, the police raid in the house, going through my walls, ceilings. Uh, all for a gun I had for 14 years, all perfectly registered and all this sort of thing. And then the Kretschan government changed the gun legislation. Liberal. And next thing you know, I went to change the address. I phoned them to change the address of my handgun. And they ended up raiding my house when they screwed up and omitted my gun from the registry system. So, these are issues you can raise. Uh, what else I got down here? Oh, recall the actions by the RCMP to reclassify the CZ-858 and Swiss Arms Green Rifle to prohibit it. Uh, the police agencies should not have had the power to decide what is illegal or reclassify it or ban it. These are people's property. These are not something that the police can say you can have it or you can't have it. These are our property. We paid money for it and we haven't committed a crime with it. You know, punish the violent, not the enthusiast. Um, let's see here. Uh, yeah, just basically, rec and think about this. Recall the people who have had their homes raided, families terrorized by cops who dug through their walls and ceilings like me, uh, looking for guns that were legal for even 60 years. My father was charged for a gun that his stepfather took off of a Nazi in Holland World War II, passed on to my dad. And when the con uh, liberals came in, they banned these things, and they raided our home, and they charged my father, who's a pastor who's worked with abused children since 1978, has the order of Wasaga Beach, uh, he's done all this sort of stuff, and they charged him for a gun that was perfectly legal, registered, and passed on to him because the Kretschan government didn't like it. That's bias. That's criminal. That's theft. That's abuse. Anyway, so think about this stuff. Uh, think of the... Um, uh, financial distress, ruined by the court costs on these families, loss of homes, uh, criminal records, all a result of the liberals and sometimes the conservatives getting out of place, causing these things. Uh, the things that we have owned legally should be considered our property and protected from its uh, reclassification. Every time another party takes office, it seems another law is put into place. This is our shit. Don't mess with it. It's ours. 
it shouldn't be bounced back like a ping pong ball every time somebody else takes office. Uh, such actions often done are by done by the Liberals. It shows they have no respect for the rights of Canadians, our heritage, our traditions, our pleasures, or our property, and what are whatever else. If they choose to dislike it because of their personal bias, they just pass a law and dictate abusive police actions to be taken against us. This is, this is wrong. It's like we're having to negotiate with terrorism. You know, Trudeau just uh, announced that he does not negotiate with terrorists as uh, some Canadians had their heads chopped off by some assholes in the Philippines. Well, are we being forced to negotiate with terrorists every time he makes a ruling and all of a sudden or any other government, for that matter, makes a ruling. Because Trudeau hasn't got in yet to, to pull this gun legislation off yet. This is a preemptive strike by CFN and the Canadian people. We're standing up and saying, no, don't even think of it, okay? But anyway, before my phone runs out, that's the way it is. May 9th, Queen's Park, 12 o'clock to 3 o'clock. Show up wearing holsters and bananas in them. Do not bring in weapons. I have had... Uh, conversation with the Toronto Police Services and have a permit for this and it mentions specifically bananas with holsters. So show up and support and speak up, speak out. I'm from Canadian Firearms Network. I'm Don Lindsay and I'm going back to the bush.